You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. The options market can be a confusing place. Sorting through the daily avalanche of data, alerts, updates, articles, and analysis to find the most important information is an overwhelming prospect. But now you have help. Welcome to the Options News Rundown, the only program that breaks through the noise to bring you the most important news and information from the world of options. Every day we bring you the top five option stories curated by the options experts at theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group Coaching Class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. And now it's time to break through the noise. It's time for your Options News Rundown. Good morning. Today is Friday, March 23rd, 2018. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. The first story today is from Investing.com. It's the top five things to know in the market on Friday. First thing to know is China strikes back against Trump tariffs. After U.S. President Donald Trump signed a memorandum announcing tariffs on about $50 billion worth of Chinese exports a day earlier, citing China's unfair seizure of U.S. intellectual property, China warned the U.S. to pull back from the brink. China doesn't hope to, to be in a trade war, but it is not afraid of engaging in one. The Chinese Commerce Ministry responded in a statement in which it outlined plans to target agricultural goods important to rural U.S. regions that tend to support Trump. The world's second largest economy announced plans to levy additional duties on up to $3 billion worth of U.S. imports, including fresh fruit, wine, and nuts, in response to import tariffs Trump announced earlier this month on steel and aluminum, which were due to go into effect on Friday. Second thing to note today is the stocks sell off as trade war fears escalate. Trump's tariff announcement led to a sharp sell-off on Wall Street Thursday that quickly spread to Asian stocks as investors fretted. Then a standoff between the U.S. and China could impact global trade. Minor stocks were particularly hard hit, while Australia's stock exchange slumped 2% over concerns on the impact on its biggest export, iron ore. Japan's Nikkei led losses in Asia, slumping around 4.7% while China's Shanghai Composite closed down 3.4%. Third thing to note today is gold spikes 1% as traders flock to a safe haven. Gold prices spiked to a one-month high in early morning trade on Friday, as mounting fears over the prospects of a trade war stoked demand for the precious metal. Uh, the fourth thing to know is the dollar breaks below the 105 level versus the yen. The dollar slumped further against the yen to this week's lowest point of 104.65, breaking the 105 level on Friday as investors are stocked up on the safe haven currency during the recent bout of market volatility. And the fifth thing to know today is oil gets boost on hints of production cut extension. Oil prices continued to rise on Friday, bolstered by news that production cuts from the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries and Russia could be extended into 2019. Saudi Arabian Energy Minister Khalid al fali said on Thursday that OPEC members will need to continue coordinating with Russia and other non-OPEC oil producing countries on supply constraints in 2019 to reduce the global oil supply. Our second story today is also from investing.com and they're kind of jumping the shark a little bit on this one. But in addition to the top five things to watch today, they're also giving us the top three things to watch today. So it's a little weird, but um, there is some pretty useful and 
new and different information here, so let's let's read it up here. Fed Bostic, housing data, and durable goods on tap. Following Wednesday's Federal Reserve rate hike, investors will turn to a speech by Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic for additional clues on the prospect of further monetary policy tightening later in the year, while housing and durable goods data are also slated for Friday. A speech by Fed President Rafael Bostic is slated for 8.10 a.m. Eastern. New home sales and durable goods data, however, is expected to garner most attention after both economic measures suffered an unexpected slump in January. Second thing, uh, this means trade war. Investor fears over the prospect of U.S. trade war played out in major U.S. averages Thursday as the Dow slumped more than 700 points. And that one we actually did talk about, the double dipping. The third thing to watch is not the things to know, it's things to watch. Very important to discover the difference here. Uh, the third thing to watch is Baker Hughes' rig count is in focus. The weekly installment of drilling activity from Baker Hughes on Friday will provide investors with fresh insights into U.S. oil production and demand after the number of oil rigs operating in the U.S. resume their upward trend. The weekly rig count is an important barometer for the drilling industry and serves as a proxy for oil production and oil services demand. And our next story today here is from fxempire.com. Natural gas price fundamental daily forecast. It needs to break hard to take out lingering long speculators. Natural gas futures are taking another hit on Friday, shortly before the opening despite another healthy drawdown in, in inventories as the winter heating demand season ends the mostly neutral spring season and the, and the mostly neutral spring season begins. At 1026 Greenwich Mean Time, May Nat Gas is trading at $2.64.9. That's down uh, 0.7 cents or 0.26%. Traders are still responding to yesterday's U.S. Energy Information Administration's weekly storage report, which showed that domestic supplies of natural gas dropped by 86 billion cubic feet for the weekend of March 16th. This was in line with forecasts from S&P Global Platts, which called for a decrease of $87 billion. The consensus estimate was for a draw of about 91 BCF. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, March 23rd, 2018, your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Trade smart and have a nice weekend. Thank you for listening to the Options News Rundown. To learn more about these stories or any other developments from the world of options, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's live Advantage Group Coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider or via questions at the options insider.com.